Okay, I decided I was going to hook up my one of my eight little handheld or HT uh, two meter 440 radios here in the truck. Let's see, turn it on. Seeing how I'm going to wind up giving this away when we hit thousand subscribers. But anywho, it's one of them bell fongs, fings, or how you want to pronounce it. And this is the UV68P-M. Supposed to be 8 watts. Well, that's yet to be seen. I have to dig out my uh, watt meter that covers 2 meters all the way up through the 440 band. You can check it one day. But anyhow, I'll show you the little quarter wave uh, antenna I made. I think it's just a little bit over 18 inches long. And I took the uh, CB antenna off the mag mount and... Um, Put the one I made for this up there, and I got a 1.3 SWR on um, 146.520, which that's that's pretty good, and it goes all the way up to 1.50 with the SWR about 1.5 I think up there. So it, it covers the two meter band. Anyway, this one does take a female uh, SMA connector, which I'm fixing to hook up, and it is find a spot to keep this thing right here this goes to uh, a connector down there and then the antenna coax hooks up to that okay so let's um, let's hook this up and see if we can get anybody on the local repeater which is in Hutch which is about 15 miles from here and uh, or at least see if the repeater comes in good on this thing all right hang on let me hook it up be right back okay i had to go in and get another one because uh i didn't have the tone or the offset see that comes up minus offset for the repeater but this is a 10 way it's a bail phone ub5r pro and i forgot what the deal is with this one it's a higher wattage than playing uv5r and it's got the extended uh battery pack on it so anyway here we go this repeater is about 15 miles so this should be pretty easy for this uh, little uh handheld as far as using that with that quarter wave mag mount okay we got the repeater kf4 zqw tests Sorry. I don't guess nobody's on the repeater. But anyway, change the bands, the A B switch here. You can go to 462, 562. Mm-hmm. Never mind, you didn't see that. <laughs> About GMRS uh, or FRS channels right there. But anyway, it did hit the repeater. Because do it one more time, burp the repeater. Don't like doing this too much. There we go. So, um, didn't have the volume turned all the way up. That's volume and on and off switch right there. You can uh, program all the frequencies you want and all sets, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into that. But uh, I hadn't used these things in a long time. And I said, well, you know what? It's time to get out and start using these suckers again. And um, we're going to get our GMRS license here pretty soon. So, I'm probably going to be getting the GMRS radios. And... Um, that way me and my wife can keep in contact a little bit easier and a whole lot cleaner uh, audio and all then the cbs won't get all the skip coming in so i think that's the route we're going to go all right let me step out of the truck and i'll show you my little antenna and wrap up the video well, there it is it's made out of a piece of stainless from an old cb antenna it's just over 18 inches i made it 19 to start with and uh, been cutting off a little bit here and there and uh, got the SWR about 1.3 to 1.2 so that's good enough get out and build you one start at 19 inches and get you a good analyzer and or an SWR meter that works on two meters and 440 and 
trim a little bit off here and there until you get your SWR on the part of the band you want. And uh, you'll be set and ready to go. Thanks for watching.